What's up YouTube? In this video, I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to get ranked on the first page of Google with content that actually passes AI detection. I'll show you every step of the workflow of how I do this. In my previous video, I had so many comments about this issue of AI content and how it might impact a Google ranking. I thought I'd provide a solution that is fast, affordable, and easy. Get ready to be blown away by the unmatched power of ChatGPT SEO. Okay, in this video, we're gonna generate blog content for a website that sells photography equipment. The first step in this process is identifying a keyword or a key phrase. I've gone on to SEMrush here and done some keyword research. I've identified the key phrase, photography light box. So this is the term we're gonna target our content around. SEMrush is telling us it has volume of 390 clicks a month on average and globally 11,200 clicks. Importantly also, it has keyword difficulty of 30%, which means I've got a really good chance of ranking for this key phrase without too much difficulty. I shouldn't need backlinks or anything of that nature to, to get on that first page. So we've got our keyword and you would have seen in SEMrush down the right hand side it had related keywords. What we're going to do now is basically prime chat GPT with this information so it knows the kind of keywords that we want to include in our content. Let's do that. So I'm just saying here the following are keywords that drive traffic to my website. These are from SEMrush. Just put in here, tell ChatGPT, take note of it, and don't repeat back to me what I tell it. Okay, so nice and easy. Noted, I'll keep this information for future reference. Okay, so next, I'm basically going to give ChatGPT the heads up that I'm going to ask it to generate some blog content for me. Now, I've drafted a prompt that is going to do that, and I'm just going to paste that in now. So... Here we go. Next, I'm going to give you an instruction to draft a new blog article for my website. Use these keywords provided where possible to help the new blog article rank on Google, etc., etc. Okay, let's see what it does. Nice and simple. It understands what I'm telling it and it's going to keep the keywords for future reference. Okay, so the next step is we're going to generate this content. And the way we do this is I'm going to paste a very detailed prompt. I'm not going to go through the prompt in detail. I've done other videos on that recently. The key thing is there is one URL within this prompt that ChatGPT is using as a reference, and it's going to attempt to produce content similar to that, but better. And from the instructions I've provided, it's going to include keywords that I've identified. So let's do that now. Okay, so our article has been drafted, but if you've used AI before, it does look pretty stock standard. Okay, so the next step is we're just going to paste the content that was generated into our AI detection tool. And we just scroll down the bottom here and we're just going to scan it. And there you go. Totally makes sense. 1% original, 99% AI. Okay, so the next step is we want to do two things. We want to make this more natural content and we also want to improve it for SEO so it's valuable to the reader. So one way of going about improving the content is using Surfer SEO. It's going to, not only going to improve it, but it's going to help us rank on Google. So I'm just going to paste the content that we got from ChatGPT. And you can see straight out of the gate for our keyword photography light box, we've got a score of 25. We really need a score above 68 to give us a good chance of getting on that first page. Basically, what I'm going to do is follow the recommendations that Surfer is giving me here. It's telling me I need some more words. I will probably generate a little bit more content from ChatGPT from that. I need to get a couple more headings, a few more paragraphs, and load in some images. I'm going to do that now, and we'll take a look when that's done. Okay, so I've spent a bit of time on this. I've improved the content in line with what Surf has recommended. I increased the words, headings, paragraphs, and images. I've now got a score that's in the range that will likely rank on the first page of Google. Further down though, I did get a bit more help from ChatGPT. I asked for some tips and tricks that professionals use with uh, LED light boxes. And I also asked, you know, what are some of the benefits of using this type of equipment? And it gave me some content. So that's been modified a little bit. And one of the ways I do that is looking down the right-hand side here of Surf, and it tells me the kind of keywords I want to be including and the number of those keywords that you'll find in high-ranking articles. With that done, we now need to take a look at how this compares AI versus natural content. So if we just copy this content and we'll go back to our AI detection tool, and I'll just hit new to do a new one, and I'm gonna paste the, the content in. 
Now we'll just go to scan and we'll just see what it's going to give us. Okay, so we've got original content around 20%, 80% AI. The next step is we need to use another tool that's going to hopefully just get us over that 50%, maybe even into 60% for original content. And then we will generate the blog and index it. If you're looking for any of the apps or tools that are mentioned in this video, there'll probably be a link in the description. But if there's not, you can head over to the channel and just click on the link over here and it will take you to the Ambitious Hub, which looks a bit like this. You'll find a whole bunch of stuff in here that might be helpful if you're trying to rank on the first page of Google. Okay, so to further improve your content, you can keep tweaking it in Surfer and it gives you lots of recommendations and that will also improve your, your natural language component. But there are some apps that you might want to try out. The first one is Word AI. This will actually paraphrase your content and it can do it in bulk. The other one that I have used in the past and I have done a video on this one is Jasper. You can paraphrase large amounts of text and then put it back into the AI checker and you should get some improvements there. And the third one, and I think it's really popular at the moment because it's probably the most affordable of all the tools out there is Quillbot. So what I've done with Quillbot here, I've just pasted the content that's straight out of Surfer that we did and and use the paraphrase tool within it. I've used this on the premium version. I've set it to formal. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but I've got it on this second setting here. And basically it replaces a bunch of the words with similar words. And sometimes it does produce ones that are a bit weird, like the objective of a light box. So what you can do if it does that is you hit the box here and you undo it back to something more appropriate. So the purpose of the LED light box, or you can click this one here, go to standard, say, yeah, what's it used for? Very basic language. Anyway, once you've paraphrased this, in whichever tool you choose, you copy that content, which I will do now, and we go back over to our AI checker, and I'm just gonna paste this in, and we're gonna do one further check after our paraphrasing. And there you go. So with those tweaks, we're at 83% original content and 17% AI. The next step is we're actually gonna to go to Shopify and create the final version of this content and index it. Okay. On my test Shopify store here, I've just gone in and created a new blog post. I've pasted in the content that we have generated. Before I exit out of here, what I want to do is just make sure that this SEO data is correct. So if you go down to the bottom in Shopify, you can hit edit SEO data and you want to make sure your page title is looking good and also a meta description that really helps with your SEO. Once you're all done there, you want to hit save. Now here's the blog post we've generated. So I'm just gonna click on this one. What I need to do now is copy the URL. And next, we're gonna go over to the Google Search Console. We're gonna force the indexing of this new page so that it can be ranked fast. Okay, so I'm logged into the Google Search Console here. I am on our Shopify demo store. All I need to do now is paste in the URL of that blog post, and we just do that up the top, and then hit enter. So it's gonna retrieve the data from the Google index. And you can see here, it says this URL is not on Google. That makes total sense because I only posted it about three minutes ago. And now I'm going to request the indexing. Okay, and as expected, Google's come back and said the indexing is requested and that'll happen maybe in the next 24, 48 hours. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and got some value from it. If you did, consider giving it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to learn more about how to rank fast on Google, check out this video here.